थे आप करते जाओ करते जाओ करते जाओ लेकिन समय अनुसार अब बदलते हुए पेरेंट को भगवान हो हम ब्रह्मा में याद रखो ब्रह्मा तुम हो रचनाकार तुम हो खुदा खुद खुद वर्ड से खुदा बनाया ना एक डंडा ही तो लगा है कि बच्चा है वो और कैसी लड़की कैसे गाना गाएगी उसके भाव क्या होंगे उसकी सिर से नाचेगी आई हैव दैट टाइम टू कनेक्ट विद गॉड इट डजंट मैटर व्हाट्स हैपनिंग इन माय लाइफ द मोमेंट आई स्टेप आउट आई फील पीसफुलनेस नमस्कार ओम शांति वेलकम टू ब्रह्मा कुमारीज कॉर्डलीवुड स्टूडियो शांतिवन मनमोहिनी वन कॉम्प्लेक्स वी आर हियर विद अ प्रोग्राम एक मुलाकात टुडे वी आर हैविंग अ वंडरफुल ब्यूटीफुल गेस्ट विद अस इन एक मुलाकात मिस क्रिस्टीना एकीवा वेलकम मिस क्रिस्टीना एकीवा इन दिस एक मुलाकात शो आई एम रियली हैप्पी दैट यू आर हियर एंड वी रियली हार्टली वेलकम यू फॉर टूडेज शो Thank I just so want much. to first want to know about that ki how you have started your career. Uh well my career actually started in Australia. Okay. I was studying film and television uh-huh. in Melbourne and um then I got into theater. So my first on the job experience in acting was actually on the stage. Okay. And um after that I started traveling all around the world doing a lot of television commercials and things like that. Um I was modeling in many different countries mm-hmm. and uh, that actually brought me to India. Oh. And uh so my passion had always been acting and it was always acting in film. So it was extremely um fortunate that I got the opportunity uh, to do my first Bollywood film here in India. And uh, it's really nice that you finally launch yourself uh, as a complete actress in uh, Bollywood films. But it's certainly that you are born in uh, Russia and you are brought in up in Australia. It's so unfamiliar. There is a so different culture. Yes. There is a great cultural difference. So how, when you just launch yourself as an actress in Bollywood, how you they do you felt there in a difference between the uh outside i'm in the uh acting in a other area and in india mm. or in a bollywood have you have find any difference there see i traveled a lot and um i spent a lot of time learning about different cultures okay. and i spent a lot of time in india in 2007 i was actually backpacking all around india mm-hmm. and then i came back in 2010 and i lived here for one year okay. and then again in 2012 And um during that time I really sort of immersed myself in the culture I watched a lot of Bollywood films so I was it was not so unfamiliar to me however of course when I started to film um you know there are still things that I need to learn like even the the Bollywood style of dancing yes, all of that was fairly new to me I have a dancing background but it was salsa and ballroom dancing so okay. it's very different to the Bollywood style so, so definitely uh, certain things were challenging and certain things I had to learn along the way but it was also not completely foreign to me either because I'd spent such a long time learning about the Indian culture before I got the offer for the film so it it was lucky for that because it helped me a lot and when when uh, the spiritualism actually touch you after being into india in bollywood or even outside when you are were traveling throughout the world i mean the spiritualism has touched you or you just get into the get into india and then only it has touched you i think it's always been part of me i mean i I came from a very spiritual family. Uh the okay. women, I should say, in my family are extremely spiritual. Mm-hmm. So, since I was a child, I always had that yearning to sort of connect with God and and um just to connect with something that feels right for me. So, I I studied a lot of different religions. Okay. I traveled to a lot of different temples and ashrams. I practiced a lot of different types of meditation, yoga. So, I had I had done my research in many different types of forms and I was always looking for something that sort of um I don't know resonated with me and resonated with my belief system. Certainly. So, and I did find uh Brahma Kumaris recently. It was only 8 months ago that um okay. I so got to know. So, you're just 8 month old yes, baby. Yes, baby. <laughs> And um yeah so the spirituality it's something that's always been in me and something that um I think even before my career before anything else it's always been the most important thing in my life and um but now even more so now that I'm in India and um 
you know, going to the Ramakumari Center and everything mm -hmm. like that, I do feel the connection has become deeper. So I'm just I'm enjoying the journey so far. And uh, uh, I just want to know, uh, before this being introduced to Brahma Kumaris, before that, what exactly you have an opinion about God? Whew, um, my opinion is it's always been that we have one creator Mm -hmm. and um, and he is just love like I've always viewed God I don't know in some other religions you know people really fear him and I just I never had those feelings towards God I always okay. just thought um, the, the Creator is somebody who loves us and I Certainly. love him and we have a beautiful connection Tradition. and he wants to be part of my life and he's just waiting for me to connect and it's about me learning how to connect with him you know about clearing my mind about um, just having that clarity and being able to meditate in a very pure environment and yeah. eventually you know that connection becomes a lot deeper with time so that's basically it that's how I've always viewed him as just it's a point of love and um, yeah so it's just always been about connecting with him and how do I and how can I make it stronger and that was what I needed to learn now uh, being into uh, being in a Bollywood or an, as an actress how you just managed both the things because spiritualism or leading a life in a spiritualism as well as being in a, as an actress it's quite difficult because mm -hmm. it's a complete glamour world yes. where mm -hmm. everything is exposed and uh, when you are just attracted towards the worldly things, it's certainly difficult to understand spiritualism. Mm -hmm. Now, how you just actually manage it? Well, I won't lie, um, it's definitely challenging. And it always has been a sort of an internal battle with me, even inside. I think for me, the most important thing is spirituality, and it always has been. And um, I think I, I can't live without it. Oh, so <laughs> so it's, it's just a matter of trying to find that balance. But yes, okay. I do get very busy with my work and it takes my mind away. And I always have to keep reminding myself, no, I need mm. to connect with God. I need to meditate. Mm. Um, so I do need that constant sort of reminder as well. And I, I can understand with a lot of people how they get taken away from spirituality when Certainly. they get into this field. Certainly. Because even I have the, that battle sometimes. I can get very caught up in that world. But um, at the end of the day, I don't think that world will ever give me the full fulfillment yeah. that spirituality can. And so with that reminder, I always try to keep everything in balance. And I try mm. not to forget what's the most important thing, and that is God. Uh, been into Brahma Kumaris and learning uh, many things like uh, it's a journey it's not just for one day you meditate and it's finished mm. it's a journey you must have learned to uh, connect yourself what exactly the relation you really love to have with the God you experienced most common relation and you love it I way. think it's just that feeling it's like for example when I come to the center mm -hmm. and I will come normally with a lot of stress and a lot of um, just all the different emotions from my day and whatever's going on in my life and then when I meditate and I have that time to connect with God it doesn't matter what's happening in my life the moment I step out yeah. I feel peacefulness Good. so when I connect with God it gives me a sense of calmness a sense mm -hmm. of peacefulness and warmth and love Mm -hmm. And this just it, this helps a lot for me because I'm somebody who doesn't handle stress very well. <laughs> so these moments of connecting with God is very important for me just to be happy and peaceful, you know. Yeah. And I think that's that's the biggest thing that I sort of enjoy out of it is the way that I feel after I meditate. It's just the calmness and just the warmth that I get afterwards. Have you introduced other of your colleagues or your friend circles even with the Pramakumar is this beautiful meditation? I have actually. Um, I've told a lot of my friends about it and you know everyone has their time also. Not everybody Sometimes. is ready. So it's not something that you can push on anybody but you can Obviously. only let them know about it, tell them your good experiences. Um, and I have had one friend who's come along to the center with me okay. so that was really great and you know she had an amazing experience and um, you know, she always says that she would like to come back. She's gone several times before, so. Um, but I always speak about Brahma Kumaris to a lot of people. So I think most of the people in my life know that that's what I do. And, um, and a lot of them are extremely intrigued. So I think it's just important to spread the word and, 
and eventually people will come. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly. Uh, now I just want to know about your career even because uh, now you are into Bollywood and people started knowing you. In a, uh, when you are just being into the crowd, how you feel and uh, what exactly you think how to handle it because that even is a stressful thing sometimes. Mm. Um, yeah, I, I mean, for me, I think it's just, again, it's just meditation that is the key because I, I do get very affected by people's energies. I've always been a very sensitive person in that sort of way. Mm -hmm. So whenever I'm in big crowds or if a lot is going on, I always need that time to kind of be with myself. Certainly. Um, I mean, you just even try that even in a crowd, I can be calm and mm -hmm. even I can just uh, exactly. I mean, concentrate. Exactly. It's just, you know, talking to yourself and just saying, you know, it's fine, just be calm, happy. And it's just that internal conversation that you have with yourself that sort of keeps yourself relaxed. And this is, these are the sort of things that you've learnt through meditation and through going to the center. And yeah, it's just a, the internal conversations that I have with myself from time to time that help me deal with certain situations that might be stressful. And uh, uh, when the first success in your life actually came, I think I've always had success to you know one point or another because it depends how you define success. Yes. For me, even the smallest things that happen in my life are successful moments. You know, um, even being as a child, the day you win a race at school, or um, I used to do a lot of dancing. So when I used to win awards for dancing, and there's all these small things, you know, and even just being here today for me, this is something that I'll look back on, and I will be extremely proud of the fact that I got to be here and I got to speak um, you know in front of so many people during the conference and Certainly. again it's it, this for me is you know a type of success so there is not one thing and there is not a time which I can say this was the first time that I felt success but throughout my life every milestone is something that I like to be proud of be it a small thing or a big thing so so I mean you have experience of success and it's a very positive note because uh, people what we really see or have in a touch with many people there we always find that when they get into success they always have a high thinking okay mm. now I'm a superstar I don't meet the common people I can't speak to the common people this is what but mm. when you are a positive person you experience a success and every small success in your life gives you a happiness yes. this is what a big thing and that is what I have seen uh, from your attitude and your <laughs> way of I mean, explaining it very right can you tell me about the, your film the Bollywood first film which has been hit a while a worldwide and especially with the Punjabi people yes. and have you learned Bhangra <laughs> um, I did a little bit in one of the songs in the film, so it was um, it was a Sangeet song. So then we had a, a few little moves in there, so that I I got to do, yeah. Okay, so you have learned Hindi even. I'm learning Hindi. I'm in the process. Okay. Um, in the film, I spoke in Hindi mm -hmm. and I did my own dubbing also. Mm. However, you know, I got the time to sort of learn my dialogues and to spend time on it. So uh, in that sense, I, I think I did pretty well. But it's just when I'm having conversations like this, spontaneous conversations, I still sort of struggle with that. But I think, you know, it takes time and slowly, slowly it'll improve. Obviously, it will improve. Uh, you are in a... Uh, a land where we call it Bollywood. We know it as a Bombay, Mumbai. It's a very hype city even. Yes. And uh, people do a lot of things. And you just even now experiencing spiritualism and now you have experience as an actress, a glamour world. So you must be happy and doing a lot of things. You are staying with your parents also? No, my parents actually stay in Australia, okay. so I'm here all alone in India and um, so that's why it's nice to be part of a family like Brahma Kumaris because also my family is not here, so um, I don't feel alone. <laughs> <laughs> Means that when you just get into the centre, yes. the sweet smile from the Behenji or the centre sister. sister. Yes. Now I just want to ask you one thing, that you have been to Mount Abu Brahma Kumaris, the headquarter. Yes. So, what is your experience? Uh, the first moment you stepped here, what was your thought? If you remember that, mm -hmm. it really will be helpful for everyone. Mm -hmm. The very moment we keep a, a
feet here what is my exact thought mm. and uh, we just want to know about the experience the day you have spent here mm. well, when i first arrived i instantly you feel peaceful Good. i mean especially coming from mumbai and um you know it's quiet the air is clear and you see the beautiful mountains and the energy is just uh, it's a very calm energy here so the initial thing is instantly peace uh -huh. and um everyone was extremely welcome welcoming as well so again it's that sort of family feeling that you feel like you're part of something and and um and everyone is your family and um apart from that also just noticing how big the place is and how beautifully it's been set up and all the meditation halls like the lotus hall and i mean it's it's it visually it's really beautiful and um so apart from just feeling the good energy and feeling peacefulness i i just i love the way that the place is set up as well and um very accommodating yeah and uh, now when you have experienced these all the things you will just have a even a bigger platform because uh, you will you are a, a person from a such a platform where you can just spread many messages mm -hmm. uh we just really even want that what type of message you are going to spread for the you just have for the media person especially we just want to know about that mm -hmm. because you know present date media is now just like a complete gossip yeah except that all nothing is there mm. so now a person like you you are in such a area where you just can express yourself mm. and you can just give the message to them i think it's just when you're in the limelight um it's you have a responsibility mm -hmm. because you know a lot of people are hearing your word a lot of people are interested to know what you have to share what you have to say um so it's it's a responsibility that i feel that i have to spread um i don't know positive energy good vibrations and um messages out there and for media people i think it's also very important to be honest with what's going on in our Certainly. society currently as well Certainly. and um so i think the honesty needs to be there so people can be completely um you know people know what's really going on and um rather than wasting so much time on all this all the gossip like you were saying and things like that i think it's more important to spread the message real message and the real what message, exactly is be it something uh negative in the sense of just letting people know what's really going on yeah. in society and then be it something positive just spreading um words of love and wisdom and good vibrations as well so um both forms are important i think because certainly one thing is that ki the gossips are there the real things are there in the world mm. but the way we present it sometime it really keep it hype yeah like the gossip is more important yes, than what's it, actually going on yes then it just flows on that way but mm. if we just keep it clear that this is exactly the matter and mm. we just can present it like that exactly. it will get good impression exactly. now lastly i think we all just know about it the meditation mm. and one more thing you might have met uh, the prama kumari's chief dadi janki yes what is your experience with her hmm um first of all when i was sitting with her and uh, she was talking to me and telling me that um you should always just feel happiness from within it doesn't matter what is going on in your life or where you are or who you are that happiness should just reside within you and you should just express that to the world and when she was talking um i don't know i just i felt like my eyes were welling up <laughs> I, i felt very emotional in that moment and i don't know why but emotional in a good way you know it's just um i tend to i i think maybe that's just how i react to things when i feel happy about something i start to get tears <laughs> so when i was with her i felt that kind of emotional feeling and um she has a very strong beautiful energy as well so very strong yes yeah, so i felt all of that and after leaving her at again it's just a calming feeling and it was yeah it was really and it was experience. like guess we have been an experience with a such a strong spiritual person who yes. is completely full of uh, positive energy exactly. and everything and like it was that. an honor because i've heard that she is very rarely that you know you could even spend time with her because she's so busy and yeah certainly and um so it's amazing that i got the opportunity to catch her while she was here also yeah so i feel blessed 
now the meditation part. Yes. Um, what what exactly? Uh, the uh, I mean, how is your experience uh, in the meditation? What exactly you have experienced here, mm. even doing the meditation? Because uh, certainly in a busy city, busy schedule, mm. there is something different. Mm. When you are in a calm place, the meditation is something different. Yes. See, just in general, like even when I meditate in Mumbai, I found that with this particular type of meditation, it was the first time that I could really switch off in the mm -hmm. way that in other forms of meditation that I had um, tried, tried in the past, yeah. <clears throat> I always had a very busy mind and I just could not disconnect. But for some reason, this type of meditation just worked for me. It just, I had absolute clear peace of mind mm. and I could just focus on that point of light which is Shiv Baba and um, so now coming here so I already had that improvement in Mumbai and then coming here and I was meditating today in the Lotus Hall sorry last night yeah and um, you could just sit there like you could just sit there the whole night you know it just <laughs> so normally me. I normally one two minutes and I'm just like oh you know I'm done in other <laughs> forms of meditation that is but I could just sit there, I could just go on and on and on. So that is something new for me where I could I enjoy it so much and there's no end to it. Yeah. So and in this type of meditation you must have felt even like that. I mean not expressing yourself, you are getting the answers even. Yes. Every answers. Whatever the question, whatever the thoughts is going inside mm. us. We are just getting the answers even. You hear one. like an internal voice. It's yes. just, it's clarity and whatever stress is going on or whatever question that you have, it's like a very clear internal voice. It just gives you an answer. So normally I would have so many different things telling me different things and I would, I would have that confusion. But in moments of meditation, it's just, it's a real clarity that you have. Certainly. And you just know where that voice is coming from. It just cannot be coming from anywhere else, you know. And you just get the answer yes. where you are and how you are. Yes. So it's really nice to be here with us. And uh, I'm really thankful, Christina, that you are with the Brahma Kumari's Godlywood studio. Thank you and, so uh, much. And we know that, and th this is what the place is. Mm -hmm. We always say that even Shiv Baba, Brahma Baba, Dadis always say, go soon, come soon. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. And the pleasure again. is mine. Again, we will meet some another guest in this particular episode of Ek Mulakat. Till then, goodbye, Om Shanti.